The next kind of animation you're going to learn is a shape tween. And what a shape tween does is um, instead of using a drawing object, you use shapes and it morphs the shapes from one to the other. So you can look at this one. I started with um, my name and then I put in three adjectives. And so you can see it morph from one to the other. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here next. So here in your timeline, you are going to click this plus sign to create a new layer. And I'm going to go ahead and call this um, morph because um, I don't know if it will allow shape tween. And that way we don't forget to, to do it. Each time you animate something, it does need to be on its own layer. You can't animate multiple things on a layer. Okay. So we're going to start off. Um, I just want to say that we're going to put this kind of in the middle of our stage. Um, so that it doesn't interfere with the bouncing ball. And I am simply going to get some text, my text tool. And when you get your text tool, obviously you can see it pop up here in the um, properties panel. Type in your first name, nickname is fine. Um, choose a color, choose a font you like. I will say that um, it works better if you have some kind of a thick font as opposed to a narrow font, okay? So look at that and find something that you like. Um, I made the font size 50 point, not too big, not too small, but big enough where you can see the um, animation, the morph occur. I'm then going to use my... Um, align panel and I'm going to check the box to align to the stage and align it vertically and horizontally to the center. Okay. Now I want my morph to last, um, I'm going to say, uh, 25 sec or 25 frames rather, um, for each name. So I am going to click on frame 25. And I need to right click and I need to insert a keyframe. And I am going to then change the text to an adjective. Oops. And I'm also going to change the color. Um, and I'm going to change the font as well. And then I will go to 50 and I will right click, insert a keyframe. I will change it again. Um, and I will do the same thing. I will give it a different color and I will choose a different font. I am still choosing um, all wide fonts and then the last one and I will insert a keyframe and I do want to point out that when I do this, this shape tween is lasting longer than the um, motion tween. That's okay. Don't worry about it. So when this finishes, this will already be done. Okay, um, put in a third adjective, change the color, um, and change the font for that one as well. Um, I will use that one. All right. And that one maybe moved it off center, but that's okay. Um, I can go back and center it if I need to. Um, and that you, the reason it did that is because I did not center my text box. Um, so I'll go ahead and 
do one more just to keep it all the same. All right, now, I told you that when we do this, it's a shape tween. And right now, this is text. It's static text. We need to make each one of these a shape. So we're gonna start here on frame one. Under the modify menu is break apart. When you break it apart, it breaks um, each letter of the word you chose into its own little text box. So if I selected one, notice I can move one letter at a time. But it's still not a shape. So I need to modify break apart again and it becomes a shape. Notice the keyboard shortcut is control B. There is my shape. See how it tells me that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each of the other three keyframes. I'm going to control B twice to break them apart into a shape. Okay. Now, if we were to play this now, it just changes. It's not morphing. It just changes. Okay. So if I click over here on the name, that selects all of the frames on this particular layer. I can right click on it anywhere and I can choose create shape tween. And now when I play it, hit enter, you can watch it morph from one to the other. Now what would make this better is if I had done multiple keyframes, done like two of kind, two of the next adjective and two of the last one. Um, so it would hold on the word longer rather than immediately morph into the next one. But to show you how this works, it's fine. So um, you're gonna go ahead and lock that layer. I'd go ahead and do a control S to save your document. And then you can move on to the last um, animation tool.